kick in a plane. Wayne Brady struggles to follow up his week five performance. So what went wrong and where did he end up on the leaderboard? What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Blake McHugh, and welcome back to another Shared It News update. Before we dive into Wayne's performance, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss any of our Dancing with the Stars coverage. This week proved to be a difficult week for Wayne Brady and his partner, Whitney Carson. And it wasn't his knees in the way this time. It was his health. Wayne ended up missing almost an entire week of rehearsals because he was diagnosed with exhaustion from doctors. So he and Whitney didn't even start practicing until Friday night. That means they had two days and some change to learn an entirely new dance and nail it to perform it for Monday night. Whitney did share that she has never started rehearsals this late during her time on Dancing with the Stars. So it really proved to be challenging for the both of them. And by the way, they were doing the quick step, a fast paced dance that you kind of need a lot of practice for. You really need to be in sync with your partner for something that you probably want more than two days to practice. But Wayne Brady doesn't let anything get in his way because from the words of his own mouth, he was born for this. He was worried about going on stage and performing, but he said, quote, as long as I can breathe, as long as I'm walking, I'm dancing. I mean, can I just say, I just love this man. I love his attitude. I love everything that he brought into this performance, even though he had so little rehearsal time. Oh, I just love him. And he is such an incredible performer that you barely even notice that there were mistakes and there were mistakes. He had a move too early than when they were doing the main quick step section, which includes some kicks back and to the side. He was kicking with the wrong leg at the wrong time, but you never once saw it on his face. I mean, that is how you do it, people. You never let him see on your face that you made a mistake, but the judges were quick step to notice <laughs> the mishaps. You like what I did there? Derek said he was impressed that he only had two days of rehearsals and said he is in awe of Wayne all the time, but added that it felt a little hoppy versus gliding across the floor. In addition, he lost his frame. Bruno said the best quote of all time, your performances are like vintage champagne. You can never get enough of it. What you give is the highest quality. Carried echoed similar things to what Derek had to say, and Lynn only gave praise to Wayne saying overall, he is a fantastic dancer. Now, while talking to Alfonso, Wayne admitted that he had a split second thought of leaving the show, thinking he's already done such a great job that maybe it wouldn't be so bad to leave on a high note. But just as quickly as it came into his mind, it went right back out. And thank goodness for that, because I don't know about you, but I need more Wayne Brady on my TV screens. I don't want that to be over just yet. He actually scored much better than I thought he would considering the amount of mistakes he did make. He got two eights, two nines, and a 10 from Michael Buble, giving him a total of 44 out of 50. What did you guys think of Wayne's performance? I mean, overall for two days, pretty dang good, I think. But I wanna know all of your thoughts on his performance by dropping them down in the comment section below. But of course, you know the drill. Before you do that, you've gotta like this video, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell because we do a lot of Dancing with the Stars coverage here, plus a bunch of other updates that you don't wanna miss. I'm your host, Blake McHugh. You can see my social media handle on the screen. Drop by, give me a follow and say hello.